These are the two channel locks that I received from the Grace Company by way of SewingMachine.com. These channel locks are originally intended for the Grace Cunique long arm quilting machine, but I'm going to install them on a Juki TL2200. The first thing I have to do is to remove this black plastic that's on both of the channel locks. That won't be needed for the install on the Juki. I just need to take a small Phillips screwdriver to remove it. As you can see, it removes very easily and very quickly. Now what I have to do is remove the wheel that runs along the channel here, and I'm going to use the Allen wrench that came with my machine. Take out the screw, remove the wheel, and I'm going to replace that with a longer screw that came with the kit. So this is the configuration, the wheel, the lock, and then the screw. Try the channel lock out and then you'll know where you should tighten it down. I think I've got it. All right, now I have to go back and tighten it because I wasn't paying attention to the fact that this screw was loose. So if I tighten that screw down, I'm tightening it on this one. I'm going to go back and adjust. All right, I think that's holding it in place nicely. Now I'm going to install the other one on the front of the machine. And I'm going to do it on the front wheel here. And just like the other one, I'll loosen the screw. It comes off very quickly and very easily. And there's the short screw. I'm going to be replacing that with put my screw through the hole and then the screw goes through the wheel. Now I'm going to finish I'm going to open that up so I can get this see how it's kind of positioning it right in place Now my horizontal channel lock is in place and I'm all done. Easy peasy. There's the channel lock installed for the vertical direction forward and backward installed on the left side of my TL2200. Right in front you can see the channel lock installed for the horizontal lock and I've installed mine in the front of my TL2200. SewingMachine.com, Sheila Simpson.